learning about PCs in hopes of building my own gaming PC. And here are the three things I figured out that you should pay attention to when picking out your CPU. This is a very basic explanation. There are some other things to consider about CPUs, but this is what I am understanding so far. Number one, your clock speed. Remember your CPU is like your PC's brain and it's sort of dictating all the other pieces and parts of what to do. So the clock speed refers to how fast your CPU actually processes instructions. This is measured in gigahertz. So obviously the higher the gigahertz, the faster your CPU works. The next thing to think about is your CPU's cores. Cores are units in your CPU that does the things, okay? So this is what's actually processing the information. Like the CPU as it like as a whole processes information, but then these are individual units that are actually doing the work. Some CPUs are just one single core, but a lot of them are also multi-cores. So the more cores you have, the more tasks your CPU can do at one time. And third, you also have threads. Threads allow your core to do even more tasks at one time. I'm a visual learner, so here's what that sort of looks like. So let's say your CPU has one core. So here's our one core, and it has four threads. So here are four threads coming off that core. So your core by itself is doing stuff, but it can divvy up that work to the four cores, so you can do even more things at one time. One of the most common CPU types is to have four cores and eight threads. So that's what this would look like. So here's your four cores, and then there's eight threads coming off of each of those. So this can handle a ton more multitasking than just our singular core that had four threads on it. So if you're planning on just like gaming, having Discord up, maybe Spotify, you can do with less cores compared to someone that is going to be video editing and like 3D rendering and needs a whole bunch of tasks going at once. If you're a streamer, you probably want to think about more cores and threads too because you've got OBS up to actually stream. You have your game, probably Discord. Maybe you've got some Chrome windows open because you're watching YouTube. You have a whole lot going on. Let me know what else is important so I can learn.